in this video we'll discuss views in the dataverse table and we have some default views when you when we create a table that we'll see and also we'll create a new view so when we are creating a view we have an options to uh, sort the data as well as we can able to filter the data in the view so for that i'm going back to the model driven application in the solution so here we have tables and i'm opening this contract management table so in this table we have a couple of options here so in the data experiences we can able to see views option so when we click this one we can able to see the default views these all views are created by default when i create this contact management table so we can able to see this active active is a view and this is a name of the table and we can able to see advanced find view and we have associated view and we have lookup view for the lookup and we have inactive contact management and we have quick find active contact management so uh, when we create any any table so there is a status called active and inactive so when you make uh, any any of the record as inactive and that would be in a read only state so which is a kind of data which is uh, in a inactive state and we cannot able to edit that and this one and this one are the public views now you can able to see this is for the find view and this is a associated view and this one for the lookup related data and which is a lookup view and again we have a quick find view so these are the different default views are available if you want to create a new view so here we have an option named it as new view so when we click this one and we can able to see this window so here so before before doing this i want to uh, get the, i want to get the contact based on a property so for that i'll duplicate this one so here we'll see the data now i'll go back to this um, data inside this contract management table so if i go to this contract management so here we have couple of records in this table so we have something called approvers and here we have called contract uh, category so i want to get only high category contracts high category contracts i want to return back to this view so when we click this one and here now i'll just get category and then description is always optional click create and once we create a view now we can able to see this type of window so this window contains in the left navigation we can able to see table columns and and also we have a relational data uh, which is a related data from the approver from aad users we have created by from the delegate users we have currency related and uh, we do have the metadata related uh, options and this one is the table and here we can able to see the columns now only one column which is by default is coming here which is a contract name this is a primary column of the table uh, we can able to see here in the right uh, in the right side of this uh, window we can able to see name which we given as a category and then description is optional now here we have two options one is sort by another one is filter so this is about the finding related information now th this part we'll discuss in another video so we'll cover these two uh, in this video so before doing that i am trying to add a column here when i click here i can able to see the columns here if i click this one it will add here or uh, if you click this one you can able to see now in this view we have three columns and if you want to add more columns you can able to add like contact status we have and um, contact end date so whatever the columns you want to add to this view you can able to add from here so we have plenty of other columns also so start date is one of that and another status is also available now when 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 you click that that columns will add to the view as well as you can able to see the data related to that property now this is coming here now this complete data is coming now there is no filter uh, we did on this so now we'll try to get only the high category contracts only so we have almost three four total five 
contracts are available related to the high career so to get that only so we have this edit filter options when you click this now here we have an add option when you click you can able to see add row and if you want to add a group you can and if you want to add the related table filter you can able to add now in this video we'll see how to you know filter based on the uh, row properties now i'm clicking this one here we have total three boxes the first one is the property so this i want to take it as this one contract category uh, which is equal to and uh, when you click this one you can able to see lot of options so in that one is equals does not equal and if it contains data and does not contain data contains does not contain begins with does not begins with end with and does not end with so we have plenty of logical operators here and uh, if i click this one equals to now i want to take only high and then click ok now in this view we can only able to see total five records which are available high high uh, category only for example if you want to get either you know high or you know low both you want to get so you can able to add again you can you can edit this filter if you click this one and you can able to add another row and when i click this one now you can able to see here now i only have this end now if i click this one and uh, if i go to contract category so which is equal to low now if i select these two and now when i when i try to have this you know when i want to change this and i cannot able to do that but if i select like this and i only get i only get zero values because you know it is does not satisfies that one so if i click this add group if i click like this now i can get r option so for that now what i'll do is uh, this manner i want to do here as well so for that first i'm deleting this again i'm deleting this and then if i click this one i can get this add group option now i'll select this r now if i go here i can get this contract category and then i'm selecting high then i'm trying to add another row now this time i'll take the again contract category i'll change this one to low done if i click ok now i can able to see two types of categories i can able to see high category contract and i also can able to see the low category contracts so this way we can able to group the filters as well so here if you want to modify you can able to modify so if you want to add more you can able to add more rows here and also along with that if you want to add another row you can able to add another row as well so for example so this this way i'm going back here so in this we have you now in progress only in progress so we cannot able to get much filter here so if you if you want to modify the data i'm going back here so few of those here we have in progress and then i'll change something to completed i'll change something to completed and um, here also i'll change to completed now the data is saving back i will come back here and i will try to add here so here we have an condition and uh, this we are doing a R condition we are getting some data and i'm using end condition here i'll add one more row here so here we have contract status and uh, i want to take uh, the contract status which is equal to completed now click ok now done so only one record which is with the high contract category and uh, the contract status is completed so this way you can you can able to add multiple filters here and um, for that we have options here so the add row we have did and add group is uh, add group also we did so this is grouping and this is a single row and uh, the relationship and the logical operator between this is r and the logical operator between this and this group is and so based on it it is coming so this way we can able to add the filters and for example now I, now I want to get the data which is related to the current user so only the current user created items are maybe current user 
having any any of the property you want to get so the property should be uh, something like and it would be a, a user field so that will test so for that i'm deleting this all and delete click ok now we can able to see all the items in this view uh, we are able to see all the items now here and i logged in with the support account so here you can you can able to see this is a support account so here in the approval section we have different different uh, different type of users now i just want to see uh, this the logged in user of uh, logged in user in the approver section so for that if you click edit filter if you go here click on this add row if you click this one you can able to see the approver which is a, a user field and here if you click this one now you can able to see equals does not equals and this type of options are available and this is a user field and if i go back to the creator by and if i click this one and here you can able to see equals to current user if i change this one to approver and if i click this one and here we cannot able to see because this approver column which is a aad field and this is the created by is a system generated field so now you can able to see equals to current user and does not equals to current user so this option is available only to this metadata field so if i click this one if i click ok and so this user only created all this item so that's why we can able to see all the items and if i go back to this filter and if i click um if i click this one if i you know select does not equals to the current user if i click ok i cannot able to see any items here because with this user only i have created all the records so that's why if i use this filter and it is not working and the same way if you if you try to use this one and this approver is a user field but still here we cannot able to see that option we only see equals and we can able to see these options for example if i select equals and now if i click this one and there is some issue to get the data from here because and it is trying to get the data from an a trying to get the data from a different table now i'm trying to get if i click this one now it is trying to get the data but it is not returning the data here so that's why uh, we cannot able to filter that one the same manner we have a different type of fields we have owner field if i select owner and if i click this one so which is equals to current user does not equals to current user equals current user are there reporty hierarchy and equals to current user items there is a lot of properties are coming why these properties are coming because this owner field also a user field if you see if you come back here owner the symbol you can able to see which is a uh, which is a kind of lookup field and which is trying to get the data from a different table so that's why we can able to see this symbol and also the table which we are trying to get which is a users table that's why you can able to see all these options these options will not available to other fields for example if i take this current contract name and if i click this one i only have this equals does not equals contains and these type of uh, operators are available here to compare with the data because this is a, a single line of text or maybe a, it is a multi line of text something like that so that's why we can able to see this type of options only but if you select the user field you can able to see a different options the same manner if if i go back to any any start date related one for example if i take start date now you can able to see the options are changed now the options are plenty of the options you can able to see so there is equals on on or after on or before yesterday today tomorrow so we have plenty of options like this because it's a date field date type field and if you go to other options like uh, there is a uh, you know cost estimate the cost estimate is a currency field now you can able to see the options which we have same like uh, uh, you know uh, the single line of text you can see equals does not equals but we have this is greater than greater than or equal less than less than or equal to because it's a currency field and here we have a does not equal and contain data does not contain data and we don't have other 
things which we seen for the single line of text so based on the data type of the field the options will change automatically so that way we can able to add the filters to get the data into our views if i click this edit filters now i'll change this one to something like um now i'll we'll go back to the contract status which is equal to high we'll we'll keep this one only and click ok now you can able to see the view now if you want to save this view you can able to do from here so there is save and publish and save only options are available for the view now i just saved it now we'll discuss about the sorting options here now when i click this one so there is a few columns are available in this so which is contract name approver contract category contract status end date start date and if you add more fields here for example if i add another field um, like uh, we have a status if i add status if you come back the status also will add so whatever the columns are available in the views so those will come here now you can able to see this is not in order i'll put this contact name in order if i click this one now you can able to see this is coming in a ascending order if, if you click this one if you want to add more sorts you can able to add or otherwise you can keep only one now after creating this you can able to save and publish once you click save and publish and this view now available inside the table and also this view will be available in the app as well now it is published if i go back to this and if i click this app and here we have the cms and now it is coming in edit mode now i will try to play this one if you click this one now you can able to see a play option here once we click this play option now the app will come here so here we have active contract management view if i click this one now i can only see category i can able to see this inactive contract management these are the public views if i click this category which we created now you can able to see this contract name now it is coming in a ascending order now you can able to see the approver contract category contract status contract end date start date and status so these fields we have added inside the view now we can able to see that so we don't have much options like uh, you know sharepoint list views here we only have the few options so one is like filtered by and we have sort by these two options are available and we also have the edit find table columns and this we this option we'll discuss in the upcoming videos and also for group by and uh, count related option and also we have couple of other options in the sharepoint views so that is not available in the dataverse views so this is completely different than that and also we can able to modify this view in a classic manner as well that also will see in the upcoming videos